layout share today. These are the layouts from the end of December and January. So this one um, has a mix of everything. This is pink for, uh, pink paisley. I think it's on my heart. Or yes, I think it's on my heart. Uh, crepe paper main squeeze, dear Lucy. Um, freckled fawn. This title is from Freckled Fawn and it's a very thin um, acrylic. And I matted this on tissue. I've been doing that a lot lately. I really enjoy it. I really like the look of it. It adds layers and texture without adding bulk. So the back of this paper is... Uh, I also liked it so I decided to make a layout. And I had this title that says she's a wildflower and I had per perfect pictures for it. So I went ahead and used it because I believe in using both sides of the paper. Um, these papers are not cheap. They're like a dollar or more each. And so if you like both sides of the paper, why not use both sides, you know, instead of buying two sheets. So, um... This has also a mix of stuff here. There's, this is Pink Paisley, Oh My Heart. These are the newer um, collection, Turn the Page, I believe. Um, I think these are Fancy Free. The copper is Fancy Free. This is Dear Lissy, Stargazer. And I never really matte my photos on solid cardstock, but I did this time and I really like how it looks. So I might just do that more often. And then I did some tissue paper down here too. And I think the very bottom layer is just printer paper so that you could see that tissue, the tissue paper a little bit better. It wouldn't get so lost in the, the, um, the flowers. So that's one layout. This one has a 30 second process video. If you go to my Instagram, I'm also made by Carla on Instagram and you'll see, um, some of my layouts, I don't want to film the entire process, so I take photos at almost every step and I do 30 second process videos. So you can find those there. Um, these are cut files from Paper Issues. I back the leaves with vellum and I really enjoy that. I think that looks great and I, I might do that more often. So these, um, it's mostly Pebbles Midnight Haunting and uh, a few like random embellishments there um these are from the tim holtz um i don't know but they're just little sayings and these are called occasions so there's for every like holiday or season or whatever there's there's different ones and i, I really like them so I hope you go take a look at that 30 second process video. And because there was no journaling space on this one, I did it on the back. I added a couple labels, just regular sticky labels, you know, that you would buy for from the office supply store. And I journaled there. This one, <laughs> this one was really fun. This is, um, my daughter was dressing up at the Disney store and, uh, in California Adventure. And we had this picture with, um, with Pluto, so um, I decided to scrapbook them together. This is tissue paper when you uh, you make an order from Disney the Disney store online. They send you tissue paper in there, and so I I keep it and um I use it on my on my layouts. So here is mostly uh, simple stories, say cheese one and two, and. So this little light bulbs and the stamp here, they're from Pink Fresh Studio. I think the collection is called Oh Joy. And um, we went around Christmas, so that's why it was like a, there were a lot of Christmas decorations. And like little Christmas lights, necklaces and stuff like that at the gift shop. This one has a 30 second process video on my Instagram account as well. 
I rarely do layouts on black cardstock, but I really enjoyed it. So that might happen again. Uh, these are just some paint splatters. I watered down some acrylic paint and I splattered it on this background. And then I added my little cluster here uh, around my photo. And these are uh, these are also from Say Cheese. Uh, so I got all my um, Say Cheese collections and I got all the stickers that say so goofy or goofy and I just piled them on because <laughs> I think we only have one picture with goofy. And uh, so this title, these letter stickers were plain red and I took my Wink of Stella pen and colored over, over them and I really like how sparkly that is now. I found that I was very productive in my scrapbooking. If I wasn't filming process videos, at least over the holidays, um, I really wanted to just go, go, go. And I didn't want to take the time to set, set anything up. So I have made a bunch of Christmas layouts that don't have any process videos. So this one is, um, this background is from Pink Fresh Studio Oh Joy. And the little paper here and these um, some of these embellishments are from a pretty little studio and that collection is called Winter Joy. Uh, this the chipboard here and here is Freckled Fawn and these are Snow and Coco. And uh, I like that this paper is double sided and this side is gorgeous. I wanted to do something with that but I didn't get to so. I might just leave that. Okay, sorry. I had to take a break and go deal with something involving blue paint. So now back to this layout. This one also has a mix of things. This is These papers are from Pretty Little Studio. No. <laughs> Backwards. These papers are Pink Fresh Studio. And the embellishments and acetate here, they're... Um, pretty little studio um so these little embellishments here are pretty little studio and these are page ovens um turn the page and so is the tag <clears throat> this is snow and cocoa and i love 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 these little jars that you can you can kind of they're kind of kind of like shaker pockets and you can kind of stuff them with like all kinds of little embellishments that also come in the package um they have been re-released again recently so you might still be able to find them so here i um i actually got it this blue paper i cut a, a chunk of it so that i could mount my photos on that paper and then i've added this little fringe that i got at target like last year and because this is when we go look at christmas lights it's the coldest it's the coldest time of the year for us. It's maybe like low 50s. So I I decided that <laughs> that's where I was going to use my winter embellishments. So that's when we break out the hats and the scarves and the mittens. Okay, this one is... The background here is Snow and Coco. And there's actually a process video for this layout if you're interested. I made this heart in the background uh, by laying down strips of washi tape on a regular printer paper and then cutting that into a heart shape. So here, these um, acetate pieces, those are freckled fawn and the little embellishments are winter joy. Uh, these are just random um, stickers from like Paper House Studio or something like that. And I really like um, matting my photos on on uh, tissue paper. So in this layout, there's uh, this little garland here. It's a very, very old product from Pink Paisley. It's called Street Lights, I believe. Something like that. And... Um, I have a mix of stuff here. This is mostly well this is winter joy all these little die cuts and the tag are winter joy and then the little uh, mirror embellishments are pink fresh studio oh joy 
And I really, really like these because they're um, like mirrors. But they're very, very thin and they're actually plastic. The only thing I have trouble with is that the thing that makes them shiny like mirrors um, is actually a silver backing that's under under them. And when I was peeling them up, like these very intricate ones, when I was peeling them off the paper, I mean of their backing um, sheet, then sometimes the silver piece would stay stuck to the sheet. The, the silver piece and the adhesive would stay stuck to the sheet and then it would leave me with this kind of plastic looking piece instead of the nice shiny one. So that was a little... A little difficult to like peel off and and I broke I broke this one good thing that you can just put stickers back together but yeah it was a little it was a little difficult but I, I like them anyways okay this is a whole bunch of mix of stuff too I got this little trim at Target last year as well um, I don't remember where the paper is from. And the acetate embellishments are uh, freckled fawn. And this is another of those mirror stickers from Pink Fresh Studio. And a little clip from Coco. Snow and Coco. Um, the journaling here is just around the, the page. And I like the little like fake stitching on the stars, so I kind of try to imitate that around the top. Let's see. So that's it for Christmas. Then on New Year's Eve of this year, I was do documenting uh, what we did for New Year's Eve last year. So this one says hello 2017 to make it clear that it was we were going into 2017 so this was New Year's Eve of 2016 and uh, these pictures were taken on my phone and the lighting wasn't the best so I printed them on my little I have a little Polaroid snap touch camera and I mostly use it as a photo printer because I take my photos on my cell phone and then I connect it via Bluetooth and print my photos. So um, I made a little photo strip here. And this is, these are from Freckled Fawn here. The puffy, the little puffy stickers. And then uh, these as well. The stars are Maggie Holmes. Yes, they're Maggie Holmes. Um, they come in the thicker pack. They're Maggie Holmes. Or cute girl they have these little puffy thickers so and then the phrases from Tim Holtz uh, this paper the glitter blue is from the glitter girl collection this one has a process video on my channel so you can go watch it uh, and see where all this comes from um, I had a lot of fun uh, making the little clusters with all these photos. My daughter's really into the filters on the ca on the camera on Facebook, so she has a lot of fun with her dad playing with that. And uh, I took a bunch of stuff from like Cute Girl and Wild Child and uh, Dear Lizzy, <laughs> Paige Evans, a whole bunch, a whole mix and the. These doil acetate doilies are pretty cool. They're from Freckled Fun. And I think the title is from Maggie Holmes. Okay. This one um, is one that I wanted to keep very plain, very simple. Because I wanted to focus on the story. Um, so this card was also given to my daughter for her birthday. And I decided it was just too pretty to throw in a box. So I used it with um, her photo and I feel like it acts kind of like a title and so I kept the, embellish the embellishments very small so that we can focus on the story and the photo here 
This one is should be my latest process video. It all started with this birthday card, which is um, very cool because it has like flocking on here and, and it's like a glittery kind of flocking. So I don't know if you can see how it shines. And um, so this this little scene under here inspired the little houses and the the sky on top. So I just wanted to kind of continue that. And I added these, all these clouds and stars are from Freckled Fawn. And uh, these are, these, the banner, the clouds, the balloons. They're from Sweet Day, which is a very, very old Echo Park collection that I still love. And that's the end of my layout share, but I still have a traveler's notebook share. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you what's happened with that lately. In case you haven't heard, I'm new to the traveler's layout thing, the traveler's notebook thing. So I, here's, I'll show you my layouts. Here's what's happened so far. I used this pocket here to keep some photos. I printed out some tiny photos and keep them here. So next time I have a chance to work on this, I, I have photos ready. Although you don't necessarily need photos, but I've had, I have some rub-ons, some stickers that I got on clearance at Michael's and I thought would be perfect for this. Um, so those just stay in here now. And I have some other little stickers here and like some, like the scrap of paper that I keep just so that I can be ready to work on this whenever. Um, I need to make something so that I can keep some strips of washi tape inside the notebook. That way I'll have that ready as well. So here's my insert that I'm working on and this is what I've done so far. This I, I was just having fun. Um, it's the plan is that I'm going to document the little things from our everyday lives that I would normally make a, a layout about and hopefully give it to my daughter when she gets older. So this card just says you are and it has a whole bunch of um, positive things. And then this one, I had some fun playing around with my Distress Oxides and... Um, I just put them on, on like a, a, a big stamp block and then I squirted some water on them and put my paper on them to make that little messy background. And I these are just some strips of washi and robots from Chamel that I had that were already there. I had taken my sheet of rub-ons that were very, very old and just kind of went through my notebook and put them in random places. So that worked out. And then these little stickers are the ones I have in the back of my notebook. Um, the little hearts there by uh, Pretty Little Studio. And um, here's some rub-ons I think from Wild Child and a little rubber sentiment from Freckled Fawn. And so here's the story mm, this is just like a little view of our porch and my daughter helping to water the plants and then I just had uh, I just had fun like this was previously here um, before I knew what I was gonna document on this page I had added the washi here so um, I just had fun putting embellishments everywhere this one um, so here's, this is Echo Park Princess and uh, I, this is a, a stamp and a die set, this castle. So here I tell the, li the little story, her little cute thing that she said, her photo that day. And then this one, I asked her a whole bunch of questions and she, one of them was, what is love? And so she said, love is being so happy. And I just decorated that page with stamps. And that's as far as I've gotten. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. That was my January, <laughs> my crafty January. Um, 
see you all soon. Bye.